Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Ass, and I welcome you guys to uh, the War Room Advanced Wars Randomized War Room Ass Challenge. Yeah, great intro. Anyway, we're gonna play a Ridge Island. Ridge Ridge Island. We're gonna play against Grits. Um, this map is, uh, I don't know, grid on a small map sounds like a headache. So we're gonna go over to the random ping thicker. And, uh, the CEOs that I hope I'm gonna get against Grits, uh, Jess or Adder would be nice. And any CEO that can increase movement is good against Grits. Uh, Eagle would be terrible on this map because there's no airports. Pretty much. Flak would be pretty terrible as well. So yeah, the reason why movement is so good against, um good against grit is because the AI usually places its indirects like one space away from your units so you can just pop Adder's little power and boom suddenly your tank is in range of uh, gr uh, grit's rocket and you just f fuck fuck the AI over normal human opponents would foresee this and actually you know calculate Adder's power into into effects by keeping the rockets two spaces away from the tanks but the AI doesn't do that because it's stupid so okay let's see who we get three two one Andy okay Andy works too I guess Andy always works. Andy does have plus one movements uh, when he uses a superpower, so at least he's got that going for him. And it's not just his vehicles, every single unit in his army gets plus one movements. So Andy's actually great in that regard. The thing is, hyper upgrade is pretty expensive, six stars, so it takes a while to get going. Anyway, so uh, I don't think an APC is worth much here, considering most of the cities are in range. I could try to go for this one, but it's really pointless. So, I also like this button, by the way. Uh, where is it? Uh, there we go. This is a fun little button. I could rush a recon, possibly. Um, that might be worthwhile, actually. See if I can interrupt some caps. It's probably just gonna prompt Grit to build a tank, but still, it's probably not bad. There we go. I could build... Uh, recons are very strong against Grit because they inflict a considerable damage, uh, deal of damage against artillery and particularly rockets. Um, so they, they do, I think, like half damage or 50% damage to rockets or something. So they're really strong in that regard. Of course, this is a Grit Rockets. Say hello to it. It is annoying. I don't want my recon to get destroyed, so I'm just going to place it one space away and just block the infantry to make sure that I get these three cities right here. Um... And then I think it's mainly just building tanks that's good against grits. Uh, not medium tanks, because they are too slow and they take too much damage from artillery. Hmm. Alright, we're back. Okay. <clears throat> Alright, so where, where are we? I have to put myself into this game again, because I've been gone for a few hours. I uh, yeah right okay so uh, infantry let's kill them proper trees let's cap them tanks let's send them I guess also I don't think uh, taking a shot from that rocket which will one shot me by the way is quite worth it so we're not gonna we're gonna back off and we're just gonna keep building tanks because we're at a point where we can safely build tanks. And sooner or later, we'll find a crack in Grit's defenses, and we'll start mowing down his indirects. The AI is pretty good at keeping itself at a close dis or at a safe distance for a little while, and then it pretty much just falls apart after a while. At least that's what I've experienced. Um, all right, so we'll move the tank. Actually, you know what? Mm, no, we'll move the tank up here where it's safe. Um. Just gotta watch Grit's power meter. It's still very low. Uh, sh I think I want to kill this infantry. And then I want to do some damage to this APC. Maybe I can force it to repair or something. That'd be nice. And we can just keep destroying his infantry. Hardy dar. And build more tanks. Tanks are pretty good against Grit. They're fast enough to reach his indirects. And they do quite a bit of damage to them when they do reach them, so. Alright, so, he's moving out his rockets. So now we need to try and blow a hole in his formation. If I could kill this, then I could attack the, uh, okay, so. I'll need to kill this. 
the recon is able to finish off the APC and we can get through to the rocket. And that rocket is now effectively useless. So that's nice. And uh, we can also now, of course, he might get his power now. Uh, he's not going to have it just yet. How about now? Mm. I still feel like I need to destroy his infantry. But I think I'm going to leave the other guys alive because I... I don't want him to have his power at the start of his turn right now. There we go, and that's perfect because now we have we can, now we can actually afford a, a recon, recon, recon on tanks. Pretty much what you want to build against grits. And once you start trying, once you start putting a dent in his rockets, he falls apart pretty darn fast. He's centering a lot of his artillery over here, and as you can see, that's a big mistake. So now I'm gonna start picking off his artillery one by one. Let's combine over here. His uh, anti-air are not going to last very long. He might get his power now. Uh, he has half a star, so he might save up for his superpower. Particularly if I can kill some more units. Uh, this is safe. Let's see, now we've got him almost... If you can get, if you can get at least one star above, or half a star above, usually... The AI will save up for its superpower, which would be nice in this situation, because I'm pretty sure we can kill most of his indirects before he can get a chance to use his superpower. We'll see, he might use it now. Nope, he's gonna save. And that's very good for us. Because right now my units are really close, and if I can get a hyper upgrade off, I'll be able to close the gap. Uh, still, a far, still a little bit far away from land. He's actually being very smart and placing his tank in the choke point, and he's built a medium tank, which is really bad for me. Um, that is actually really bad for me, because I have nothing capable of dealing with that shit right now. Oh well. Guess we're just gonna start capping his properties then. Uh, can we kill the recon? No, we cannot kill the recon, sadly. Well, we should probably just back off then. And I don't want to lose my infantry. This looks like I will lose my infantry. Alright, so I need an artillery versus that tank. Because there's really no, no way for me to deal with that right now. Will he get his superpower? No, not yet. Uh, wait a minute, that was kind of stupid. No, never mind. It wasn't stupid at all. There we go, dead infantry. Now, what's funny about the AI is if you if you keep picking off the AI's infantry, it will keep rebuilding infantry. The AI wants yeah, AI has like a minimum number of infantry that it wants on the battlefield at any given time. It looks like he's leaving his rockets and artillery open right now. And if that number goes below a certain cap, then the AI will automatically only build infantry. Which is, needless to say, quite good. But as you can see, Grid is not a simple CO to go up against. Because of all those damned indirects. Got some weakened recons that can't really do much. And even though Grit has minus 20% firepower, it's still not easy to go up against him in direct combat when he's when he has such a defensive advantage. But we'll just keep building recons and tanks and hope for the best. We'll probably get a super snipe right now. Could be nasty, but the thing is, the AI loves targeting infantry, so he'll most likely only snipe my infantry. Which is annoying, but we'll see. Okay, yeah, as you can see right there, targets on infantry, targets my weakened recons. The AI loves finishing off units. And that's it. He didn't even attack with his tank for whatever reason. I don't really know why not. Now, if we can get our superpower up and running right now, that'd be really good. That would be really good. Ah, there we go. Alright, so I think we should probably just use it. So yeah, Andy's superpower is one of the best superpowers in the entire game. It is so fucking good for its costs of six stars. 
Like, not only does it give you plus one movement, which is insane on all of your units, it gives you 20% extra firepower, and fucking repairs five hit points to all of your units. It, it is such a it is such a complete package, this superpower. I mean, only the five hit point repair would have been a good in itself as a superpower. That would have been decent, very, a very strong power. And then on top of that, he gets mobility and firepower. This, this superpower is so strong. There is never a reason to use um, Hyper Repair other than to counter, like, Hawk's superpower. If Hawk uses a superpower, I would consider using Hyper Repair on Andy. Or Olaf uses his Winter Fury, I would also use Hyper Repair to counter that. Otherwise, no. So the mobility is massive. You see right now, that's the artillery completely dealt with. My mech is completely healthy again. And I'm just really taking this time to just move my guys into position. I'll be delivering the finishing blow very soon. Oh, wait a minute. Did I did I cap before I used my superpower there? Because that's a little bit silly. You shouldn't do that. Anyway, I'm going to form like a shield right here. Ah, he can still move around, sadly. Well, that's a little bit annoying. I'll still build another artillery, though. Well, we'll see. The AI isn't the smartest, so it could just go after my infantry. You never know. Mm. Is he seriously just gonna keep his... I don't know why the AI does that sometimes. It just... I don't know. It just... Sometimes units just go inactive and they just stop moving. I have no idea why. But it's just a thing the AI does. I'm not sure if it's like a built-in handicap or whatever the fuck it is. But I've always fucking wondered why it does that. Anyway, we're gonna take oh shit. I was a little I didn't quite use my units effectively right there. That was a little bit annoying. Anyway, you should probably go for the HQ or something now. Okay, um it still has quite a lot of units. I think I'm gonna start I'm thinking I'm gonna go block this base right now. I'm gonna cap the city to draw the tank away. Hopefully he'll he's gonna keep going after my infantry instead of my artillery. The AI is kinda dumb. It does not target indirects when it should be attacked. As you can see right here. The obvious fucking choice here is would be to target my artillery. I don't know why he doesn't do that. But that's that's just the AI of Advanced Wars 2 for you. I it's programmed really funny sometimes. And the Advanced Wars 1 AI is even dumber. Holy fuck, it's so fucking dumb. And we don't want to be attacking with our 7 hit point tank, preferably. Alright, so now we have two artillery. One backing up the other, at the very least. And we're just going to keep building tanks. I think a route victory here would be most ideal. Okay, here comes the snipe attack. Not really going to do a whole lot. Okay, it's not even going to use it. But again... So now it starts attacking my indirects, mainly because... Okay, now the medium tank started moving as well. All right, I've blocked off, mo blocked off most of his bases at this point, though. Day 13. We'll see how this goes. Alright, I think I need to start taking out his tanks. There we go. We'll use recons to block the bases since their firepower is low. Kill the anti-air. Just generally do a lot of damage to his shit. It's gonna be a super snipe now, but I don't think he has any indirects left, does he? I really don't think he does. Alright. Bring it, crits. I'm gonna get my superpower next turn. I'm gonna heal up all of my units. And I have, a, as you can see right here... I have a lot of damage units as Ande, which is fantastic. You always want to have a lot of damage units as Ande. Too bad about my artillery. That could have become a full hit point artillery, but hey. 
Alright, no superpower yet? Hmm. Alright, alright. Let's get rid of this recon. Like so. Come on, get my fucking hyper upgrade already. Might as well attack into his medium tank, seeing how Grit's medium tank steals shit damage. Come on, seriously? No superpower yet? Uh, I get it on my next turn then, I guess. I blocked off every one of his bases, so he can't he can't retreat anymore. Alright, this is gonna be a fucking lovely superpower right here. Just look at this shit. This is where Andy shines. Oh, got a bunch of damage units. Not anymore! Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. So before we route him, let's just make sure we build as many units as possible. Ba 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 ba. I'm pretty sure we can take down that medium tank right now, even though it's on a city. At least I ho fucking hope we can. Yeah, we can. All right, will the ass streak continue? Oh, oh, no! Oh, no! Okay, I... Oh, man, it was actually my technique score that sucked there, but that, that's actually quite common versus Grit, because Grit does shoot down a lot of your shits. Which means that, and the indirects are cost effective in that way, in that they can shoot down a lot of units before they die, so it's difficult to kill more stuff than you lose against Grits. You kind of have to swamp him. Alright, I'll win next time too. Oh man, the ass streak is broken. What shall we do? Whatever shall we do, ladies and gentlemen. Now it's gonna be ass! -a. Oh well. Join us next time as we go to Meow's Hope and face off against Sensei. This is also a map from Super Famicom Wars, I'm almost 99% certain. And it's a pretty interesting one. It's fucking big. We're gonna be fighting a lot of battlecopters in this one. No naval units either, so it's gonna be an air battle. Hoping for Eagle here. That would be pretty fucking sweet to get Eagle on this map. Oh, please. Anyway, please consider leaving a like and a comment if you enjoyed this part. And as always, my name is Mangus, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.